Welcome to date night. And tonight I got a very special episode for you. A friend of mine asked me if I would do a ramen video because she loves to eat ramen. She wants to learn how to make it for her and her husband so they can have a ramen date night at home. And so here we are. We're doing ramen tonight. Now, let's get started. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make your broth. You take your saucepan, get the fire started. You're going to take three tablespoons of white miso paste. Drop it in there just like that. Then you're going to take six cups of water. Then you take your whisk and just stir it in. Break that miso up. Once you get the miso dissolved, you're going to add a tablespoon of low-sodium soy sauce. Stir that in. And you're going to bring it to a boil. While that comes to a boil, we'll go ahead and get started on our noodles. So you take a half pot of water. Get that heated up. Salt your water. While I'm waiting on those to boil, I'll tell you that I have some chicken thighs that are left over from last night. So I chopped them up. I also hard boiled a couple eggs and peeled them already. And those are waiting to go in once this is all done. So just go ahead and do that ahead of time. You'll be perfectly fine. So our noodle water is almost boiling. Our broth is almost boiling. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our green onions and our baby bok choy. So take a half cup of chopped green onions. Drop them right in there. One whole baby bok choy cut into quarter inch pieces. Give that a stir. Let it come up to a boil, and then turn it down to simmer. Now, water's boiling, so I got some dry udon noodles that you can pick up in any good grocery store. I got these at Ralph's. Drop them right in. They cook in about seven to eight minutes. Our broth has come back up to a boil, so we're going to turn that down to simmer now. Or low, whatever your stove says. Noodles are done, so we're going to go ahead and drain those. Get all the water off of them. Definitely make sure you get all the water because you don't want to water down your broth. And that's it. Now we're ready to plate. Take your noodles, in the bowl just like that, you can take your chicken, put it right next to it, about a cup of noodles, about a half cup of chicken. Take your fresh jalapeno slices, depending on how spicy you like it. I like it in that like medium range where you get the bite from the jalapeno, but it's not overpowering. So about four to five slices. Just put those on the other side of your noodles. Take your broth. Give it a little stir. Make sure you get plenty of your bok choy and green onion in there with it.
and fill it up just to the point where it's almost covering the noodles, just right before you bury the noodles. Take that hard boiled egg and slice it in half. Put it right there just like that. And then we're going to top it with a little bit of fresh cilantro. And there you have it. And now it's time for the taste. Alright, flip. Alright, flip. Got that good miso flavor to it. The jalapeno is kicking. You can taste that cilantro, the freshness of it, the baby bok choy and the green onions. See the piece of that chicken? Mm. And then, of course, some of the broth. Man, that's some yum yum. Get you some right there. Serve that up with some tequila. And, of course, my favorite, the liver tonic from my friends down at Salud. Man, come on. Date night's not going to get any better than that. And it's just that easy. Come back and see me next week for another night at Yum Yum. Get you some. And as always, stay safe, people. I'll see you next week.